My name is Alex White Plum. I live along the banks of the Wounded Knee Creek. I am Naja for the White Plum Teoshpae. I am the eldest male in my entire family. And I would like to send a message to President Obama. President Obama, there's a foreign company coming through our territory. They're trying to pump some dirty oil across treaty territory, the Treaty of Fort Laramie, 1868. And in this treaty, the United States pledged their honor to abide by this. So as President of the United States, you have to honor the Constitution of the United States. Please read Article 6 of the Constitution of your country and come down here and meet with Chief Red Cloud so we can establish a protocol to address treaty violations. We have kept our end of the treaty. We've been at peace ever since. It's your turn to honor your word. That dirty oil they're trying to pump across our land is another act of genocide. No one came down here to meet with Chief Red Cloud or any of the other treaty consuls to come barging into our treaty territory. We mean to protect our treaty territory because we know that treaty is real. Congress passed it, the president signed off on it, and we're not going to let them build this dirty oil across our land because we need to protect our water for the future generations of our children that are yet to come. So I'd like to ask you humbly, please honor your constitution and please keep your word because we have, for the last 144 years, been living under this treaty and it takes two to make a treaty and it takes two people to break the treaty. It's time to sit down and just discuss this. So I'd just like to ask you humbly, please honor your constitution and please respect the Treaty of Fort Laramie, 1868. Alex, is there anything else you'd like to say about Keystone XL and its impacts on your homeland? Um, there's a foreign entity, they're digging up the grounds on the Leprechaun Lake Nation up there in northern Alberta, Canada. And these people still live the traditional way. They hunt moose, they eat salmon, they eat deer. And since this tar sands came into existence, it has poisoned their water and the animals and the fish are getting poisoned and they're still eating these natural foods, but they're getting sick inside. President Obama, you need to step up and put a stop to this because they're committing genocide. This is in Canada, but these people are still our relatives. They're part of the great Lakota nation. We have allies. We had Hunka, where we made treaties way before the white man even came to our country. This is a real violation, and it causes us to cry when we see this happening. So you need to come up here and see for yourself the impact it's making on us. Just because our skin's brown, don't mean you treat us like we're a third world country. President Obama, we were here before the American people came to our land and we were kind and we shared. And in our kindness and sharing, all we received was genocide, massive killing, germ warfare, and today it's oppression. It's time to stop. So President Obama, we depend on you as a leader of this so-called free country if it's really free, why are you treating us in this manner? Let's all get along and respect us because we were here before everyone else. We have an origin, and we originate right here from the Black Hills of South Dakota. So we need your help today. No one else listens to us. The media blocks us every time we say something important. It's time somebody listens to us. Maybe you are that man to finally have compassion and to hear our words because we've been talking to empty ears and one day we know somebody will listen to us so we want you to come down here and meet with us and if you respect the treaty of 1868 you're gonna bring honor back to this country the Germans they dealt with what they did with the Jewish people Australia dealt with the Aborigines people are doing this all around the world if you don't do this we're going to have to solve this in some manner, sometimes down the future. So we're asking you to finally step up 
and be a man and be a leader around the world in human rights. This is what we'd like to ask you, President Obama. Thank you, Alex.